This video series is Integrated Financial Planning, Developing Effective Financial Plans, and the topic for this video is Financial Planning Frameworks and Processes. We're going to be looking at the Financial Planner Competency Profile. So just recall from the first video, the FBSB definition of a financial planner. FBSB defines a financial planner as a professional who uses the financial planning process to provide a client with integrated strategies to achieve financial and life goals and who has demonstrated the abilities, skills, and knowledge outlined in FBSB's financial planner competency profile. So that's what we're going to be looking at in a little bit more detail. Uh, just a quick overview in this video and then in further videos we're going to drill down more on uh, each of the each of the competencies. And recall also that uh, with regards to FB Canada and their qualified associate financial planner exam which is coming up uh, after January 1st 2020 that and right now it's the level one certificate that exam focuses on specific elements of the FP Canada Standards Council competency profile so again um, we're going to be looking at this competency profile and that exam may also require integration across several financial planning areas so again the topic for this video is we're going to look at a little bit more detail the overview but not a lot of drill down yet on the financial planner competency profile okay here we are at the financial planning standards board website www.fpsb.org and i just want to show you if you click here on standards um, there's going to be some information uh, with regards to establishing financial planning as a global profession fbsb's global uh, financial planning standards framework how fbsb sets standards and finally the cfp certification framework but if we scroll back up and we click here learning more about fbsb standards you can see that it brings up a page where there's some information with regards to standards to support uh, financial planner professionalism and here is what we want it's the competency and it's the financial planner competency profile so you can download the PDF here and it's going to give you uh, information with regards to the uh, financial planner competency profile but before we do that just want to scroll down and show you that there's documents here on education financial planning education framework uh, a document with regards to ethics which is very important financial planner code of ethics and professional responsibility and finally practice standards financial planning practice standards so again some good information uh, on the website if i click here on the financial planning uh, um, competency profile you can see that it is 16 pages not going to go through it all right now but there's the table of contents but very just giving you a quick overview of where we're heading we're heading into this framework and that's why i said these uh, videos are talking about different frameworks and processes and you can see here that this framework uh, fbsb's financial planning knowledge identifies the knowledge of a financial planning professional must be able to draw on uh, to deliver high quality financial planning to clients and it categorizes that financial planning knowledge framework into one financial planning principles processes and skills number two financial management number three tax principles and optimization number four investment planning and asset management number five risk management and insurance planning number six retirement planning number seven state planning and wealth transfer and finally number eight integrated financial planning so again a lot of information here uh, you know showing for example investment planning and asset management there's the category and and uh, the subcategories again not going to go through the whole document right now but that's uh, where you can find the information if i move to the fb canada website www.fbcanada.ca you can see again we've looked at this in the first video but if i scroll down a lot of information here you know the planners corner student candidates canadian public uh, anyhow if i scroll down to the very bottom of this page you can see here on the left hand side there's the competency profile so if i click on that competency profile you can see that there's a profile in effect to december 31st 2019 and then a new uh, competency profile just some small changes uh, effective january 1st 2020 so you can download the larger document or you can download a graphic overview i find this graphic overview to be a very useful document and you can see uh, here we have the fb canada competency profile in terms of a uh, graphic with a wheel 
and we scroll down and then there's two pages financial planning functions elements of competency and uh, in this framework again we're looking at uh, the financial planning areas financial management investment planning uh, insurance and risk management tax planning retirement planning and finally estate planning and then at the bottom there's some information with regards to the professional skills that we'll be looking at in more detail again this video is just the quick overview uh, to give you an introduction to the FBSB uh, competency profile or the FB Canada competency profile which are very similar they're just different documents and I just wanted you to be aware that there's two different places to get the information so in this slide I've got the FB Canada professional competency profile and uh, in upcoming videos we're going to drill down and look at these um, you know the profile in much more detail but just want to start uh, with a quick overview so you can see here on the outside of the wheel is the professional skills and FB Canada I'm looking at the one that's effective for January 1st 2020 uh, because we're gonna, you know looking towards the future and you can see the professional skills there's four here the first one is interpersonal and relationship skills the second skill uh, professional skill is teamwork and collaboration skills number three is communication skills and finally number four is critical thinking skills as we move uh, into the wheel you can see that the next uh, layer is the financial planning functions and you can see that's where we're collecting information and we're collecting both quantitative information and qualitative information then from the collection of the information we move to the analysis where we're going to assess the clients uh, situation and then we're going to identify and evaluate strategies moving on from the analysis um, function we're going to get into the recommendation and that is where we develop recommendations to help optimize the client situation now when we're talking about collecting quantitative and qualitative uh, information uh, you know what are the areas again we're looking at the six financial planning areas so starting here number one is financial management number two is insurance and risk management number three is investment planning number four is retirement planning number five is tax planning and number six is the estate and legal aspects so those are six uh, competency areas again this is just an introduction in upcoming videos we're going to drill down um, you know first looking at the professional skills then we're going to just quickly look at the uh, financial planner functions in terms of collection analysis and recommendation and then finally we're going to have a video for each of the competency areas a video with a lot more detail on financial management a video on insurance and risk management the process one on the investment planning retirement planning tax planning and then finally uh, state planning and then seeing how it uh, ultimately how it all ties together in a financial plan and that is the conclusion for this video which was just starting to give the very quick big overview on the financial planner competency profile in the next video we're going to start to drill down into the levels and we're going to look at the financial planner skills thank you